The central highlands of Vietnam are home to Dak Lak Province, a thriving region that pays homage to the Southeast Asian nation's rich history, culture, and heritage. This area has long served as the cultural and geographical crossroads in the central highlands. It is also the site of a thriving agricultural sector, the backbone of which is coffee production, which has a major impact on the regional and national economics. Dak Lak now represents strength, harmony, and progress. We drove south from Da Nang following a newly constructed toll road. It's fast, it's empty, although admittedly a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. And they've been building it for decades. And I gotta say, on a holiday, it's wide open. There's hardly any traffic, just a few trucks here and there. It's really, really nice. It empties out into a small city about two and a half hours south of Da Nang, where you are joined with the rest of the Tet holiday travelers, bikes, cars, and the infamous long distance buses. So off the side of the road, we're about two hours south of Da Nang, and the toll road turned into a two lane road, and it's mostly that way for another two hours or so, but this is Tet travel. Uh, just a little restroom break, and back at it. I wish the map would show us the name of these towns. I'm, I'm driving through them really fast, and I don't know the names, but this was one after another here on the coast. From the coast highway through the journey, we ventured inland through some of the most beautiful countryside I've ever experienced in my life. With long stretches of winding roads that went off into the horizon, and some of my favorite music playing on the radio, this 10-hour road trip was one of the best drives of my life. Through small villages, even smaller roads and dodging obstacles along the way, our final destination was in sight. Arriving in Dak Lok, the beautiful scenery started to give way to roadside businesses and they just went on and on along the highway. The house I was staying in, a family home, was truly a work of art inside and out. Completely crafted out of wood and decorated with ornate traditional furniture, it just simply added to the richness of the experience. The frequent, almost daily trips to the local market were the real cultural trip. I loved every minute I spent there. This is a typical market here in Backpack. There's a million of them. Uh, they all kind of look the same, but each one also very different, obviously. Everything you can think of. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like half walking street and half like motorbike uh, drive through. <laughs> of her girls that work for her and you know dried fruits and uh, crackers and what's this she got me what's that oh egg cake oh. yum right. okay. <laughs> it's the day before it's and everyone's getting their last minute shopping and the streets are very busy and tomorrow there will be a ghost town around here. As part of my participation in the communal feasts, I got to try a broad range of traditional meals that showcase the region's incredible diversity. I'm always happy to see when I'm in Asia, there are bookstores everywhere and kids are actually reading books and not on their iPads all the time. They still use them, of course, but we came to a toy store and all the kids are picking out books. always one of the best things about anywhere in Vietnam is just off the side of the road get a little breakfast but me and a little plastic chair this is what makes it so much fun
We must not discount the incredible uplifting character of the local people here. What is your name? John, nice to meet you, John. So I'm getting the car washed and I'm in this um, this pet shop from my new friend here. This is cool. He's got a little pet shop here in this town of Duck Duck with him and his wife. And I, you know me, if there's puppies around, I gotta come say hi. <laughs> Mutt. 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 <laughs> and then Tiger Dog. See her name, uh, boom. Boom. That is our dinner. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> The most significant Vietnamese celebration is Tet. It is a joyous occasion that heralds in the arrival of spring. Tet traditions are deeply integrated into Vietnamese society and represent the values of reverence for one's ancestors, closeness to one's family, and hope for a prosperous new year. I never stay up this late, but it's about 10 minutes to midnight on New Year's Eve. Tet? And outside I hear all kinds of fireworks and firecrackers and the whole family's up and we're all getting ready to feast. And we're pretty excited. I mean, looks like the whole town is up. Of course, I smell incense all day and it's especially uh, strong right now. Boy, just in the last 10 minutes, it has gone crazy out here. The firecrackers and the fireworks. And of course, we got ours ready to go. Can you hear it? Careful! So this is a temple that my family here in Vietnam helped to build a long time ago. Probably one of the most beautiful temples I've ever seen. It's big, but it's not super large, you know, but it's um, peaceful here. I love it. Of course, the first day of the new year is all about family, so I'm getting a nice little tour of that block. It goes on and on and on. It's a very big piece. This is the market on the first day of the Lunar New Year. There's nobody here, and I've been given the honor to be the first customer of this store. So, what do I get? Yeah. Just pick something? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Salt. Slow, slow. Yeah. Oh. Right down there? Okay. And Salt. And there's my. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> It's considered a big honor to be the first customer. It's, it's not a very large town, but you know, it's still kind of the Tet festival. So all the families are out enjoying the small little square in the center of town. These little uh, electric bike, these little electric bikes that these kids ran around on, look like a lot of fun. Another day, another travel day, rush, trying to get home, back to Da Nang. Uh, we're about an hour outside of Ikar, and uh, still in back lock off of the uh, country road. And uh, just, you know, just getting gas. Time to hit it. There's a lot of people out on the roads right now. Same place we stopped up yeah, for, yeah, for, for lunch. And and they take good care of us. It's been really good. It's an amazing amount of food. This experience highlighted the importance of passing on knowledge and customs from one generation to the next, as well as shared principles of respect for one's environment, one's family, and one's community. I want to give a special thanks to my family for their kindness and hospitality during my stay. They show the warmth and generosity that is indicative of their culture as a whole. They went beyond just following the custom. I gained a better grasp of the Vietnamese people's guiding principles of unity, respect, and optimism. All that, an incredible mark on my soul.